opened for all. Manta! Manta! Today, with our ANC regalia, with our EFF regalia, with the Dyson... Morning came, and when the sun rose over the eastern plateau of South Africa on the 22nd of October 2015, the whole country could not have been readied for another generation of youth's cry. This is a cry by youth similar to one witnessed by the world in 76. Now bear witness. Youth took to the streets together outside Chief Lutuli House. We have been at it since Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. So for a full week we have been at this. We have had police brutally handle us. We have had our sisters and brothers in Cape Town being shot at. We have had our sisters and brothers in NMU being shot at. We have been tear gassed. We have been pepper sprayed by private security entering our campuses. Youth took to the streets to gather outside Chief Utuli House, the home of South Africa's ruling party, chanting Solomon Matlango, amongst other struggle day hymns. We found ourselves in a struggle, a struggle to access quality education, amongst other struggles, so we cried to the party to heed our call and take action as in yesterday. And had we not marched, we would have strayed even further as a country from the promises made to our parents when they first voted. Straying further from the free education our parents witnessed come off the lips of Nelson Mandela before he took office. Similar to the youth of 76, our cry is stimulated by horrid practices within the education sector by the current government. In light that we the youth of today are the leaders of tomorrow, we know that education will set this phrase alight into a reality. No man or organization may defer our sights from this future. Hence we marched. Student activism is alive again in South Africa. Right? I mean, for, for, for days and days, I think we've been arguing around the apathy of students. And now we're seeing that that is not true. We have come out of the streets. We've allowed ourselves to be subjected to police brutality. We've allowed ourselves to be subjected to white monopoly capital on our institutions. We've allowed ourselves to be at the forefront of, of, of a, a very intense struggle, knowing that these institutions do not represent us at all. We, we said, no, it's fine. We'll go into the streets. What happens, happens. How many times did we leave these gates without permission? We left them, come on. And now, and now we've started a national revolution. A national revolution. Thursday was merely an attempt to awaken a napping giant. Our march on Thursday was merely replied with photos and video footage of our frustrations paraded on national television.
A giant awoke as a result. An assault on the president was the next step. Friday, we would cast a dark cloud on the president's quarters. It is true that we had amongst us the Twitter handlers, timeliners, bloggers and posers taking selfies at the bottom from the sidelines. Funny, their presence is not recognized and the rubber bullets that befell them are unaccounted for. Mere casualties at war. Said to have no cause beyond being cool. Judging from the behavior of Mr. President, the country was naive to think that we would have had a peaceful march. Can I request, in fact, that the Minister of Higher Education and the President to please go address the students? Because this requires leadership. And if we fail to do that, there will be an even bigger crisis on our hands. Can I request that that be so, please? The truth is, 0% fees increase is not what we marched for. He was either too busy or too chicken to hear our true grievances. Never, never, and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one or another. He assumed we were there to dance around a well-lit fire, singing songs of the struggle in his backyard. Our country's current leaders have easily forgotten that they occupy seats of authority today because of a history that was carved by a youth to whom freedom was the only reason to live. Well, their time in office has been compromised by greed and their passion no longer lies with the well-being of the people. South African young people are facing a crisis of opportunity. Someone must fall, and if it's up to Minister Nzimande, students must fall. In fact, as far as he's concerned, listening to the address earlier on, everything is going well. The truth is, Minister Nzimande, students have fallen in the last number of years under this ANC government. Madam Speaker, honorable members, students in the gallery, Bahaetsu Dumelang. In 1976, students in Soweto rose up against an evil system that sought to deny them the right to education. A system that also sought to see the students fall. The system responded with the full force of the police. But instead of engaging the students, it sought to break them down. Last week, Young people across South Africa went to the union buildings to fight the opportunity to study. The vast majority went in peace to protest against the continued exclusion of particularly young South Africans from higher institutions of learning. They too were met with the force of police brutality by a government that wanted students to fall. And I'd like honorable members to share a post by a mother who said to her daughter, if you march again, take a wet bandana with you. Your chances of getting tear gas are increasing and it is horrible. Cover your mouth and your nose, and as soon as you hear the whizzing noise of grenades before they explode, try to get to a higher ground. Tear gas is heavy and it sinks. I really didn't expect to be teaching my children this. This post reminded me so much about how history can repeat itself. People are still mobilizing for the basic right of inclusion and access to opportunity. The struggle for education continues. After the Soweto a a a uprising, the ANC government has indeed failed young people. Honorable members, just last week, Honorable Bladen Zimande and the president sat here in silence while students protested outside. 
This is the greatest injustice of our democratic era. It is a government that has not prioritized opportunities for young people and remains silent while our government, while our campuses burn. Minister Nzimande, this is not a new crisis. It's a crisis that you've sat on for the last two years. It's dated back since 2010. It set out the funding crisis. So what remains to be true is that actually the hashtag must be no, blade must fall. African nation of Kong, 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 African African nation of Kong, African nation of Kong, African nation of Kong, African nation of Kong, African African nation of Kong. Stop fire boost, better be more schools and stop making us fools. The dragons be dragons and the names are growing numbers now. But me and my family, we shall remain the ANC till we die. The 8th of January 1912 deserves a holiday. One of those holy dates, formation of a great thing that gave birth to liberation. I attest to seeing Coca Cola going from 2 liters to 2.25 in my lifetime. Recently witnessed by big decisions taken by the DA and account political clowns. Prostitutes are refusing government jobs for their big, their own conglomerates that lonely and horny men with lots and lots of cash continue to compensate. Ah, ah, yeah. Uganda has paved the way, bombocrats all over the world in pain. Combat propaganda, that's what it states. Spend our money in education, as Lali Negas. That's where the money should be going. We need more Martin Coopers than Econs, I'm seeing a mini Cooper. You need to start paying teachers more digits, read it, legalize it, I economize it, stop corruption and invest on hustlers, day to day economic fighters, pass the torch relay, we runners, tryna climb to the highest point, you drivers, I guess we hikers, Swamikunzi call us corporate dogs, we soldiers and God we trust, be loyal, that's all we want, Cold holds, Zuma Malawi, what's with the system, River Stenkam, was it all plan who runs this shit, highest paid politician in the world, I owe my vote to my forefathers, and still I owe them control with Sizwe, I have something to say in Nizwe, I to defend our policy aims, talk gates, Mandela with great, by Adla Pambili, let's do it too, whoever runs the media runs the world, Black Nation, Mother Teresa, we're not Sell <laughs> This was merely a demonstration. We are yet to protest. We are political. <laughs>